to this area with 51. Everything in the butterfly. When you go rapping like that. to the subscribers that notification gang click and blend follow me on instagram for all my latest content updates live stories things like that salute to everyone who watches this content whether religiously or in passing salute to my god none other than showtime sp the nobody that knows bodies um he's at work it is what it is but the show goes on you know he'll be back real soon so check this out um hold on tay rock versus new jersey twerk that's fire. This is just my initial thoughts. I will say this, um, both of these guys are very, very, very high-powered MCs, big stage performers, and, you know, I, 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 I like the battle. I do. I definitely do. Um, I, I, I know people will give New Jersey twerk his flack for, you know, the battles that he has that were not the greatest, but, you know, in his last joint versus Loso, skrrr, Sometimes I drive by too. That was fine. Um, he has, I'm sure, when when focused, and I'm not gonna do the if factor, when focused, when he does his job, shows up with three rounds, does his J O B, one of the most powerful like this dude literally, I've literally seen New Jersey twerk go on stage and just start jumping like this, and the crowd starts going crazy like he said something. Like he just starts doing this. He just starts doing that. Crowd just going fucking crazy. Nigga like the fucking LeBron James and some shit like that. Boom, boom. Um, Tay Rock, the face, the brand. Um, you know the uh, the one of the logos of Battle Rap. Now there may be people who have had bigger careers. They may be people who have done more views. But when you talk about consistently being consistent over a long period of time. Tay Rock's name and face should be cemented in that. He was not on Summer Madness, which was kind of a question. I don't know. I kind of was like, why? You know, there was there were some battles out there that he could have had, but it wasn't a lot for him. I'll tell you that much. Um, I'm up here sounding like Doc Rivers and shit. Hold on. <coughs> um, there weren't a lot of battles that he could have had that would have made a lot of sense for him on Summer Madness. So he sat this one out. But now he's spinning the block to battle New Jersey Twerk. And I'm telling you now, expect fireworks. Expect big moments. And expect New Jersey Twerk to take this battle serious. He's always said that he wanted that rock battle. And niggas respect rock too much in battle rap to not bring, not bring it. So I'm not even concerned. Like when I told y'all about the two serve, I was not concerned with him bringing three rounds. I spoke on it because it was just a thing to speak on and it was a narrative, but I wasn't concerned whether he would do it or not. There's just certain situations where you know this nigga's not about to play with him. He's not about, if, if you think for one second New Jersey Twerk is gonna play with Tay Rock, knowing what Tay Rock delivers and knowing what kind of bag that Rock could get into, listen. Play with him if you want. Play with Rock if you want, and it will be a long night for you. But for me personally, um, I like to see the redemption stories. I like to see when people start to get their sh right. I like to see when people like really jump in a bag and get serious about their craft and like really, really start to evolve and elevate. You've seen it with Chess. Like Chess has put together 
his best year in battle rap. His single best year in battle rap he's putting together right now. All three rounds, all of the narratives that were said about him are starting to be dispelled. Like he, you know, when you see him, you're getting, you're getting a good product. You're getting somebody who's going to bring their A game, their all. And like I've, I've been one to say this often. We go through ups and downs in life. I've had ups, I've had downs, but right now. It's up. Like I take my craft seriously. When I bring, I bring it. I bring it. You know what I'm saying? I take it seriously. I don't play around. You don't play. Don't. That's one thing I'll tell people. Don't play with your gifts because you play with your gift, you can lose your gift. And I learned that all throughout life. You know what I'm saying? In this battle rap sh and in regular life. You know what I'm saying? Now I, I do what I want as a hobby and as for fun. You know what I'm saying? So you got to take your talent and take your gift seriously. Um, who has the advantage? Going into it, I will say that uh, this would be one of those that's pretty close. You know, you do the polls like before the battle, who you think is going to win. And sometimes you'll have a battle where it'd be like 80 20 or 30 70. This is more like a 51 49 type of deal. This is a very, I think, close as in from fanfare because they both do some of the same things very well. Both are very good big stage performers. Uh, both have big, big moments. They can put together some big, big moments. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, the damn Space Jam dunk. Seatbelt won't buckle up. Uh, you know, these guys have had some of the biggest stage moments. So when you look at it from that perspective, they both have very, very, very big stage moments. They both have... Uh, New Jersey Twerk has a more intricate amenities and he does a lot of this like like he can put together really good complex bars where he breaks down words and he towers over opponents and he has a better one of the loudest projections in battle rap. Rock on the other hand, he's seen a lot of he's seen it all. Like he has seen the toughest of the tough opponents and then he's beaten some legends too. You know what I'm saying? Like he be battle verb, he three owed him. He battled Chilla Jones. To me, he beat Chilla Jones too. You know what I'm saying? I think the thing about Rock, like what's crazy with Tay Rock, and I know people go, like, oh, that's your boy, that's your boy, my nigga. Like, I talk about him like I talk about any other battle rapper. Like, if I feel like he won a battle, I give him credit. If I feel like he didn't get the battle, I'll say he didn't get it. And that's what the thing, we, it's a level of respect. Like, he'll understand. Like, if I feel like he didn't get the battle, I tell him, look, bro, it is what it is. I feel like this person won. But you should be able, if you're cool with somebody, you should be able to tell them, like, yo, I feel like you won this, I feel like you didn't won this, and this is the reason why, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's a way to go about doing that. But what I will say is uh, he's seen it all. He's seen the toughest opponents. He's, he's seen killers. And he always wants to face tough, tough opponents. Before the Chilla Jones matchup, Chilla Jones was on fire. He was smoking everything. He came off the, the, the battle with Shine. He was beating everybody. And I asked him, I was like, yo, bro, like, this is what you want right now? Like... Chiller's dangerous. He's like, yeah, this is what I want. Like, I want the killers. I want the most dangerous matchups. I don't want to take no easy, safe route battles to where people feel like, you know, at the end of the battles, like, Rock was going to beat him anyway. No, he wants the tough battles. I will say that with Twerk, dangerous, <laughs> very, very, very high-powered MC. I'm strapped in. Crowd goes fucking crazy. They say this shit with him. Like, I've seen him defuse people, you know what I mean? Like, Loso was coming in. A lot of people thought Loso would be able to neutralize some of the shit that, uh, that Twerk does, and it just it just wasn't like that. Um, I'm going to lean towards Rock as far as the experience factor, as far as, you know, um, being able to handle himself. on Like, when he faces the biggest opponents, he levels himself up like he, he he always finds a way like even in the battle versus daylight which most people have daylight winning nothing wrong with that he had one of his better performances in that battle like let's not how you have one of your best three round performances in that battle and it was what it was and then he turned around and battled murder moot a lot of people gave that battle to murder moot but if that battle would have been in front of a crowd that would have been a totally different battle but that is what it is um, salute to those guys for their battles, but I, I like where this is going. And then you got a uh, Jazz versus Gaddis. I'll speak on that right quick. And me and Showtime SP, we'll, we'll, when the card comes out and more matches come out, we'll speak on them. Um, 
Jazz hasn't battled in a long time, but Jazz has an effect over crowds and over people where when she gets the rap, shit, she should have 25 rounds. She should be done writing for her. I ain't gonna hold you. She should be done. Um, Gaddis has a lot of different pockets of flows and is an MC that can, you know, break people down and, you know, the fit the, like she, she's really nice with the pen. Jazz got a lot of punches, you know what I'm saying? Got a lot of, got a lot of aura, got a lot of star power. Almost what Surf has, but in a female perspective, like the females really love like Jazz, like they hang on to her, every words hang on to her movements. Um, this is going to be an interesting one. Jazz definitely has an advantage going into it because it's probably going to be one of those controlled environments. It's not going to be a big, I don't think, I don't think it's going to be a big stage. It might be one of them little caffeine room, small environment type shits. And if that's the case, she probably has an advantage going into it. But I've seen Gaddis win battles that people said she wasn't going to win. So it all depends on which way, uh, which way we're going to go. But, uh, We'll talk about that. We'll break that down and more. You know what I'm saying? But is Rock gonna bring light bars for madness? Like this is this is one of them ones. Like that's a that's a big stage battle. I don't know what what kind of stage is gonna happen on, but that is definitely one that both have won. If they've been talking about this for quite some time, like they this is not no shit that just got put together. You know what I'm saying? Put together have on the last minute Clifford shit. These niggas wanted to battle for a long, long time. And let's see where it goes because both MCs can bring you some shit. And I'm not gonna say, oh, he's not gonna bring three rounds. Like, we're not doing that. We spent, people spent weeks and weeks and weeks doing that last week and look where that went. You heard me? Jersey. Shit was a dub, one for the goofy that went for the shit. <laughs> Pull up for the party for your 21st B-Day. Yeah, 21 shots for the birthday kid. Hey, hey, 